hey guys welcome back or welcome if you're new so today's video is going to be like a i wouldn't call it a tutorial i am just sharing and so you can kind of see the steps that i take when i am making our personalized shirts that you normally see me wear around the house or when we go to disney and we are going on another field trip tomorrow and i want to make sure you guys have your shirts to go with us so i'm just going to share this and before we get moving with all the stuff that you'll see me doing please give me a round of applause we have made it to vlogmas day 10 i still can't believe it i was saying if i make it to day 10 it's definitely a christmas miracle so do be sure to clap for me in the comments i am still looking for the person who told me that i could do vlogmas because this is a lot but anyway let me stop rambling for a bit and just kind of telling you guys what we're doing here so pretty much i will find free images on google and i'll download those so i can insert them to the cricut design space so i can start um, coming up with the how i want the shirts to look i'll also download a particular font and i use the website defont.com i'll be sure to link that down below in the description box and i also go through the cricut website looking for a free image that other people have decided to upload and share and then i'll pretty much either break them down change colors change the size to make it more to what i'm looking for All right, so you saw me breaking down those pictures of the stars. I'm only using a couple and I want to also change the color to red because I'm going for like a Mickey Christmas theme for our shirts because we are going during the holiday season. I also wanna make sure the stars pop a little bit. So I'm going to add a white outline around it. And the reason why my background is black is because my shirts are going to be black and I wanna see what everything's going to look like with the color of the shirt. So it's just easier if you have your background to the desired color of the shirt that you're working with. So you just kind of see everything together. All right, so for my images, I'm also going to add an offset because with my shirts being black, you'll lose the ability to see the Mickey ears. So I'm gonna create an offset in white to make sure it pops a little bit more and you'll see that shortly. I know this might be a little advanced, I'm not really sure. I will be trying to incorporate some of my crafting that I do, I guess in the background that I really don't get to show. But I guess I'll do something a little bit more simple so that way we can go step by step like how I download some pictures. Um, all those little intricate details that is probably hard for me to kind of share right now.
So I'm just playing with different things. See how I like the size, the placement of things, even the colors of my offset, just to make sure it's becoming to look how I want it to. But here's a quick little story time real quick. So a long time ago when I was a small young grasshopper, <laughs> um, I used to have like a home base um, crafting business and I made like personalized tumblers among other things. And I made this tumbler for someone and they thought it was amazing and they thought I should sell it. So of course I went and tried to sell it on Etsy and guess what you guys? they got me for a trademark so i'm sharing this because these are things that i do for personal use only i do not sell these things i don't sell any images that are trademark and you definitely don't want to play with disney i just want to say that if you want to create some kind of shirts that have um, famous or popular images do be sure to use that for personal use only or you're gifting it to somebody do not go out and try to sell them because you will get a nice little email or a nice little letter to your home and we do not want these problems okay All right, so now moving on to the back of the shirt i wanted to add a little design in the back because when you go to disney it's like so much people and i just kind of look at the back of husband's michael's shirt so i can always spot him when we're kind of navigating through the traffic throughout the day and because the theme of our tree this year was like the candy cane and i had some peppermint details to that that's what I decided to do with this Mickey Mouse head up for the back to kind of tie everything together. I decided to make it a peppermint um, Mickey and Minnie's head for the back of the shirt. Alright, so here are the designs for the shirts. I am pretty happy with how I placed everything. Now I'm going to get all the items that I need, like the vinyl, the printable vinyl to be cut so I can get ready to press it down. And I'll be sure to link probably all of the Disney videos down in the description box. So if you want to go back and look at the previous designs that I have created when we go out on the trip.
Once the Cricut machine is done cutting all my images out for me, I'm gonna go through the process of weeding, that's what it's called. Um, it's just pretty much removing the back of the vinyl and all the pieces that you need to remove so your words and your images could be exactly how you designed it. All right, you guys, we're almost there. Now we're working on pressing our designs to the shirts. And this is the brand that I use for the boys shirts. Um, you get them at Walmart. They're about like, what, $3.88, pretty much like $4. And they hold pretty well. So I like to use them. So you'll probably see on the side right here that I already started on the shirt and then I still have my prep work laid to the side. So I like to kind of do like the assembly line. So I'll do all the prep work for every shirt, all the step one, step two, step three, and so on for each shirt. It just makes things a lot easier for me because sometimes based on what you're pressing, you may have to change the temperature of your heat press. So I like to do all the same steps at the same time. All right, you guys, so this is what the front of the shirt looked like, and I'll be sure to show you the back. But we're coming to the end of our video for today. Please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help out my channel. And leave me a comment down below if you would like to see more crafting videos from me. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, do be sure to subscribe because that is your permission slip for tomorrow's field trip. We want to make sure you're there wearing your shirt that we just made together. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.